it's Bargain Princess! <laughs> okay, so I was recently requested on Twitter to do a review on the CoverGirl Outlast Stay Fabulous 3-in-1 Foundation, which I'm probably the last person to do a review on it. It is so last year, so 2013. But I mean, I've had this now for about 5-6 months. I hauled it in a video, and I just started using it now on and off for about 3 weeks. So, I must say, this is bomb! <laughs> I mean, this is like seriously worth all the hype that I received in 2013. I have it on right now. It gives me such an even, flawless look. I love it. And I have very, very minimal concealer on. I just have concealer underneath my eyes, and then I have concealer on this little dark spot, whatever, thingamajig. I'm not gonna lie, it is a tad bit light, but it does oxidize, not like the orangey oxidizing. But by the end of the day, this foundation seriously matches my skin perfectly. I guess like by the time it warms up and my oils and the chemistry starts mixing together, this is amazing by the end of the day. And this is the first foundation that I don't have to use my Milk of Magnesia to fight back the shine because I have such oily, greasy skin. As far as the demo, you can see that my skin freaked out on me and that's probably because of a mixture of two things. One, I just opened up my own boutique. Ah! <laughs> Which, you know, if you like my necklace, you can find it on bpgems.com. But that was so exciting, yet nerve-wracking at the same time. And then on top of that, the second reason was because I had a little bit left of a mask that I received two years ago for a Christmas gift. And it was the Kate Somerville. I decided to use it because, I mean, I couldn't throw it out. It was just like a tad bit left. And, yeah, my skin hated me for like a good week and then you know me I'm a pink pimple picker blah, 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 pimple picker yeah and then I started picking my pimples and then yeah I'm back to square one again <sighs> don't you just hate when that happens but anyways I found it best to apply a light layer of this foundation starting with four small dots around my face using a flat top elf brush to blend in which was only three dollars at Target just saying <laughs> the main reason I do this is because I actually hate that cakey heavy look was traumatized back in the day i mean who likes that look anyways so i ended up using the rest of the foundation to stipple on and i spot concealed using my fingers just because i found it to work best and i felt like it gave me more coverage with my fingers but just the fact that i can use this as both a foundation and concealer is pretty impressive at least I think so. <laughs> I mean, just look at those results. You can be the judge. I personally think it looks amazing. I do have a little bit of oil building up around my nostrils, but that's it. I mean, that's bearable compared to looking like a huge grease light bulb. I mean, so not cute. So that is it. I actually really, really, really love this foundation. I definitely think it's worth the nine to eleven dollars, depending on where you go. I also wanted to try out CoverGirl's new foundation. I think it's called True Blend hoping it's the same formula as this. So let me know in the comment section down below. Do you love it? Do you hate it? Like I said, I'm probably like the last person to do a review on it, but so far, I mean, I love, love. I haven't noticed any breakouts from this. It's just mainly from stress and that old mask. <laughs> So that is it. Don't forget to thumbs up the video if you enjoyed. Hit that subscribe button for weekly videos, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye! Like what you see? Well, make sure to check out my other videos. Holla! <laughs>